Welcome to another edition of the brand called You, a video and podcast show that brings you knowledge, experience, and wisdom from hundreds of successful individuals from around the world. Today, I am privileged to have a very, very accomplished entrepreneur with me, Sakshi Vij. Welcome to the show. Sakshi is. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Uh, Sakshi is from the Harvard Business School. She is, uh, in her own words, responsible for shaping. the personal mobility space in india she was responsible for building cars on rent and now she is the founder of miles cars sachi tell me a little bit about what you think are the three key milestones in your career or life wow i think i'm still getting to getting to the right the right things to call milestones it's still early days for me sure. but um, i'd say till now one of probably the three things that have shaped the way i think mm-hmm. and the way i think about my career and the indian market is uh, very early in my career when i started out i joined cars and rent at that point of time we used to represent hertz in india yeah. and everyone really knew cars and rent as hertz india we then went through an exercise of moving out of the master licensee of hertz and establishing cars and rent as the indian car rental brand Mm-hmm. that i think was an important step for me to understand what indian what setting up a global practice for india looks like okay. and i think so i think that was that was an important learning mm-hmm. uh the second of course was when i launched miles which was uh, back in 2014 mm-hmm. this was a time when uh, everyone was talking about the ubers and olas and radio taxis and mm. aggregation on ride sharing and we were coming in with uh, a car sharing brand we were saying we want to do rent a car in india okay the acceptance was very interesting because i remember that when we started out uh, we just put up 13 cars in three cities in india and we were sold out in the next 5 hours for the next month okay so that was an important uh, sort of start for me mm-hmm. in my little journey little start as an entrepreneur mm-hmm. the last one i think is very recent and it's an important milestone for us we have always looked at uh, miles as a brand that believes in collaboration since we are changing the way the car ownership ecosystem functions today mm-hmm. one of our biggest allies in this journey have to be car manufacturers mm-hmm. so very recently we signed up with two of the major manufacturers in india one being maruti suzuki mm-hmm. and uh, another one being mg motors which we signed before maruti in fact so i think those were great testaments to the fact that we are going in the right direction mm-hmm. and there are actually manufacturers that are willing to partner with us so great. yeah i i'd, I'd say these are the no no these are great milestones and you know as you said these are you know early milestones and i'm sure there's a very very long and successful career ahead of you but you know uh, you just spoke about uber and ola which is a car rental model you know on a car taxi kind of model where you hail an uber or an ola and miles cars is where people self drive what is the basic difference and what uh, opportunity did you spot well you know in india on an average and let's keep the covid times away mm-hmm. but on an average there are about 2 uh, and a half to 3 million cars that are yeah. bought every year right as against about four times the number of new driving license holders that are added every year wow okay. therefore we believe that there is a huge gap between mm-hmm. the number of cars that the number of people who can drive and the ones who are driving okay We also believe that while the ride sharing and the taxi hailing uh, business is there to stay, there's a lot of growth there. At Cars and Rent, we've been doing it in the B two B side as well. But we also believe that there will be a a significant market of car buyers or people who want to have access to a vehicle, right. and there's a way of changing it. There's a way of introducing more flexibility, affordability. more accessibility to a car to a vehicle so to say and that's that's really what we what we are trying to build ourselves very interesting and yet you know for most people who own cars they've now started to recognize that it is probably one of the most underutilized asset 
everyone has. I mean, you actually probably just drive a car for maybe an hour or two hours every day. Is there a possibility for you in Miles Cars to start tapping into these huge unutilized assets in every home? So it's interesting you say that. You know, the basis of Miles from the beginning has been to become a platform that allows for utilization of any vehicle as an asset. Any vehicle, so to say, is actually a depreciating asset, and therefore, the better you can utilize it, the better you can, uh, you know, justify the cost of owning that vehicle. So we have always kept an asset light model in our business. Uh, we acquire cars from the market to begin with, for obvious reasons. The customers who come to the car owners who come to us are fleet operators and car dealerships and OEMs. But uh, very soon in our journey, we started uh, developing a program which we now call the Miles Angels program. Mm -hmm. And why we call it the Angels program is because these are really angel investors who are investing into a vehicle okay. and putting it onto the Miles platform, which then gets utilized for the period. My ultimate aim would be that you and I can share the car that's standing probably in our parking lots yeah. for most of the time and just allow somebody else to, you know, in your neighborhood or in the vicinity to be able to share and use that car. Right. And really, you know, eliminate that need of the unnecessary congestion that we are building onto our cities. Uh, in spite of not having a uh, 80 or 90 percent utilization of cars as an asset. Very interesting. You know, because I was thinking just before, you know, when I was thinking, planning to talk to you, I was just walking around in the condominium that I live in. There must be about 500 cars. And in pandemic times, I think at any point of time, there are at least 450 to 460 cars parked in the basements. And I was thinking, I said, you know, this yeah. is what I would call raw material for Sachi. I'm so glad you said that. You know, one of the things that I used to do when I was just starting out with buyers and I used to pitch to pitch to partners, you know, go and speak to, um, you know, potential investors, etc. I used to just go to their building and sit next to the window and try and show them the parking lot. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was my pitch. You know, all of these cars, this is my supply. and This is what uh, really needs to, you know, be become better utilized. Why are all of these cars just lying right there? Right. So yes, I think that's that's a really important piece. In addition to that, I think what we what we also believe is just the way cars are getting sold needs to change. Mm -hmm. Why should I be buying a car for longer than the period for which I need it? Correct. Why should I invest Correct. in a fifteen lakh asset when I'm going to use it only for well a few days, month? Correct. Um, so so yeah, that's that's it definitely is. a piece that. that we'll so you know. Yeah. My next question is, Hakshi, is, and this is a question to all entrepreneurs who are wanting to scale up. What are some of your key challenges as you are scaling up? So I think we're definitely trying to change a behavior. We entered a market where people love to own a car. There is a, and you know, one of the things that I've always been told is that, but you know, if it's not my car, it's not my car. I, I consider a car as... Buying a car is an event in an Indian family. Correct. So we're changing a habit. And I think that change of habit and how simply can I change this habit has been a challenge for us. Mm -hmm. Technology has helped in a big, big way in that sense. The other, I think, important piece for us is to sort of get the ecosystem together. The entire value chain of a vehicle starts from when a customer starts uh, deciding on which car they want to buy. Then the entire journey of doing the purchase and moving on to, you know, the idea of who is it that I'm going, uh, am I going to go to when I have to get the car service, where's the insurance coming from, etc. And then I have to sell the car at the end. Mm -hmm. Can I get all of these ecosystem players together? So I think those are, those are some of the things that uh, we found challenging, but we're also working on. So that's, that's probably the journey for us. Very nice, very nice. Yeah. And I know some people at Uber, and when I talk to them, I realize how much technology goes into running these platforms. How are you managing your technology, which is the cornerstone of the big of the giants? So you know, I 
when we and you know my legacy is cars and rent and i spent about 10 years first there and then built miles uh, so to say that was a business that evolved from being an asset heavy to an asset light model Correct. from being an operational to a sales focused business mm-hmm. where we essentially the idea the ethos of the business was you need to make sure that this entire business can actually run through technology instead of more and more people more and more cars etc right and i think that is the philosophy that i bring to this business as well mm-hmm. uh the idea also then is how soon and how well can we integrate all formats of technology so today we invest in ai tools to better judge the behavior of a driver mm-hmm. uh today we invest in telematics and machine learning tools to be able to identify what does a car need at any point of time to reduce the friction between a car user and you know the person who actually owns the car okay so yes i think it's been a journey we are of course creating creating a habit and one of the things that i must mention is that whether it's an uber ola or any other car uh, user uber is also a car and an uber driver is a car user correct for us everyone is a customer correct anyone who wants to use a car is a customer so we need to take, take our technology to that very fundamental level so mm. Very interesting, and you know, if you were to look ahead three years and say that you know this is where I want Miles Cars to be, what is your vision? I want the parking lots to be as empty as they can be, like we started out. I think the idea is how can I make sure that car or any vehicle as an asset gets max gets utilized the most. We do believe that. you know as of now we're about uh, 3 million cars being bought in india every year mm. the estimate is that in the next 3 years this number should be about 5 million if i can reach to about anywhere between 5 to 7% of that market mm-hmm. i'd be i'd be making a significant change and that will then lead to more and more oems sort of incorporating this as a product which is which is which is our ultimate aim i think the entire car ownership process needs to change and that's that's what we're trying to do terrific terrific one more question before i move to another segment how in your opinion are the millennials and the gen z's changing the way you do business because the millennials don't want to buy anything so what, yes, what is your view uh, them changing well you know they are sort of our brand ambassadors they have been uh, people who have sort of decided to make that change uh, we're also in a time where influence is a very important aspect of decision making and everyone's becoming an influencer especially in this pandemic like most people have become cooks and and you know bloggers etc so that content that is coming out of the younger generation is becoming very important for us mm-hmm. one of the campaigns that we did very early in our days at miles was how do you break up with your car and it's time that you break up with your car mm-hmm. the idea essentially was to tell people that listen you're too committed to this asset uh you don't have to use this asset and buy it and pay for it for the next 4 years 5 years why do you use it when you really need to so so yeah i think we're we're utilizing that uh, that influence and the current generation is really becoming our uh, brand ambassador so to say they're also in fact making changes in the households that they belong to so today uh, one of our first customers when we launched an electric car fleet into our uh, brand were actually senior citizens and where did they come from from they really came from the next generation which told them hey you know what you have a lesser usage of a vehicle why don't you start using a much more greener vehicle so to say mm-hmm. uh, so they're they're actually creating influence all over for us which is quite amazing. exciting amazing amazing so sachi let me move to um, the second part of our show which is some questions for you of as a startup entrepreneur i've often been asked this question by the hundreds of people i've spoken to that is it better to have a co-founder or should you go solo what is your thought oh wow i think it i don't think there's a there's a right answer to it i am a single uh, i am a solo founder at this point of time but i've got a lot of help from the teams that i incorporated 
also i think in the journey of an entrepreneur you can never move solo even if you start out as a solo entrepreneur your team really becomes a set of co-founders for you mm-hmm. and therefore i don't think a founder ever has a chance to take all the credit of having started a company mm-hmm. i have an incredible team of people who are really helping me build what i'm trying to build today they may not have started from from scratch with me but they're they're literally co-founders for me so yeah i think that's that's that's, that's, that's a very interesting idea. perspective thank you my next question is that you know i've done startups you've done startups you're doing you you're, you're building a startup i'm sure you've met hundreds of people who are startup entrepreneurs what in your opinion are some of the basic mistakes a lot of startup entrepreneurs make i think one of the things that i believe happens when you're when you're a young entrepreneur is i'm and i'm seeing this i i don't know if it is uh, if it is something that's that's very prevalent but i'm seeing this in a lot of entrepreneurs that they're very conservative or very they're not very open about sharing the ideas that they are building while i understand that when you're starting out you have to be more protective of your idea and you're mm-hmm. more i mean you know probably hesitant to share as much but i think in a startup's journey because the entire idea is of growth and learning if you don't share it will be difficult to be able to learn better uh, so yeah i think that's that's sort of very fundamental mm-hmm. uh the second of course i think is this whole idea of how much time are you spending mm-hmm. in understanding the customer right. or are you are you essentially just sitting and building something because you believe it's correct and probably the two points are really related but uh, but yeah i think those are those are sort of the fundamental yeah. mistakes that yeah. that tend to happen okay so i've got time for a few questions for you personally now okay my first question is that uh, where or who do you draw your inspiration from most importantly i think my father who's been an entrepreneur himself i've i've learned most of what i've learned in my journey from him mm-hmm. and it's it's wonderful to have some be at home to to be able to seek seek any help uh, any guidance from but also from every customer that sort of you know comes uh, that i come across and mm-hmm. that has an incredible story to tell right. i think one of one of the most interesting stories in our journey at miles was a customer we had launched some nanos in our fleet mm-hmm. and we got a customer who took a nano for a month and came back Mm-hmm. and he decided to document that story saying i took the car from noida to kanyakumari wow. and came back and that's what i did for the next one month i did not check into any hotels i slept in the car drove in the car and just came back now that's a story that validates my idea of what i'm trying to create sure. if if i can create a home out of a vehicle that's that's really inspiring amazing so yeah amazing that's quite amazing My next question is that how do you set personal and professional goals? Uh I don't know if I have a set format. I think I just go with what's really required at that <laughs> very moment. I'm somebody who who believes in um, in just making sure that the that the present is correct. Mm-hmm. and uh, the future sort of gets sorted i know that there are certain go- long term goals that i have as far as the business is concerned uh, i have a vision of where miles can reach mm-hmm. but at the same time i think goal setting is something which is a more uh, i i tend to set a lot more short term goals okay. um than the longer uh, longer term visions so okay. to say yeah okay fair enough except that my next question is that if you were a role model to millions of children who closely followed your life choices what is the one thing you would change in yourself i'm guessing i should have some uh, if you want to change i mean maybe uh, you don't want to change anything fancy your long term goals to <laughs> say it <laughs> no i think uh, i think kids today are extremely well exposed they are extremely extremely intelligent there are there are solutions that are being you know put forth to them which are which are making them a lot more aware of what they want i believe that one of the pieces that i would want to do a lot more than what we are doing today 
and uh, which is also the fundamental of car sharing or any uh, asset sharing businesses is uh, to introduce more greener greener fuel greener vehicles into our uh, fleet uh, to be able to really build a more import, more relevant a more safer future for the kids and for them to also be able to learn that this is this is what's really needed uh, we're both living in the vicinity of uh, a smog that's going to come in any in the next few days in delhi so we know what what that really means and maybe that's that's one of the things that i'd like to do a lot more of okay yeah so i have time for two more questions for you the next question is what do you look for when you hire anyone i look for somebody who i can learn something from mm-hmm. uh, i look for somebody who has complementary skill sets I do not unless I'm hiring uh, primarily for a specific role uh, if I'm hiring somebody to be part of a senior team mm-hmm. I will always look for complementary uh, skill sets okay. Okay. I am constantly in the need I don't think I can do everything and therefore as founder I need to find more co-founders so to say so that's and my last question is actually what does success mean to you I say it means that if I can just be if if I can just be happy with on on a daily basis at the end of the day and if I have a problem if I can solve it that 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 short term success is sort of what what I really run after and that will probably lead to a lot of satisfaction at the end of a few years um you have you you would probably be able to give me a better answer to it because you have a much um, much more illustrious uh, journey so to say but but i think yeah i primarily it's it's to be able to find a problem solve it move on get to the next problem if i'm developing that skill then my then i'm i'm fairly okay <laughs> sakshi thank you so much it's been such a pleasure speaking to you and i wish you and miles okay. cards lots of success thank you so much it's been wonderful so talking to you thank you Thank you for listening to the brand called You video cast and podcast. A platform that brings you knowledge, experience and wisdom of hundreds of successful individuals from around the world. Do visit our website www.tbcy.in to watch and listen to the stories of many more individuals. You can also follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Just search for the brand called You.